Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over how to download add-ons and mods for MSFS 2020. For this video we're going to be using a website called flightsim.to. It's a free website that lets you download mods that are either freeware or payware, although most of it is freeware. If that's the kind of thing you're looking for, definitely recommend flightsim.to. There's loads of things on there and we're going to be using that today. So this is the first thing you're going to see when you go over to the website currently. Uh, it does change every so often, uh, the layouts and things. Uh, so it might not look exactly like this depending on when you're watching it. Uh, but if you're watching this fairly new, then this is what it should look like. I'll leave a link to this website as well down in the description. So the first thing you're going to see is some kind of news things about what's going on in the flight sim community. Uh, but the main thing we're here for is for the main add-on. So you probably notice up here there's a little search bar. You can go in there and you can search in whatever you want. And you're going to end up getting some like popular results of that search. And that's a good way to kind of find things if you know what you're looking for. But sometimes you might not know what you're looking for, you just want something new. So that's where these little sections come in here. So you've got some different liveries here. You can choose um, all different aircraft that there are for the sim. Let's go, say you want to go for an Airbus. Then you want to go for the Phoenix A320. Click on that. And then we get all of these liveries that come up that have been uploaded to flightsim.to. And we can filter these by newest, last updated, most downloaded, most liked, and so on. And we can also uh, choose all of these categories up here. And also, if you're looking for a certain livery, you can go ahead and put it in the search box up here. And then it should come up like that. And you can see there are loads of liveries of the same thing. Uh, so it's just really what you want to download. Some of them will be 4K, some of them will be 8K. Some of them will just be HD, and some of them will, of course, be special liveries. So you want to make sure you get the ones that you want. Also, uh, we have scenery uh, here. So different airports, landmarks, uh, nature. So you get different mountains and landscapes and or just other th kind of things uh, you can also filter it by country so say we want to get some scenery from south africa we can click south africa and we're going to get all scenery that's from south africa we can filter that by most downloaded and again we're going to see the most popular uh, south africa scenery and the final section up here is the other section this is where you can download kind of aircraft and aircraft enhancements and things uh, so there's loads of different aircraft so if you want to do all aircraft and you can filter this by most downloaded. Uh, some of these will be payware, um, but most of them are freeware. So you can get things like uh, the HPG uh, helicopter, you can get A330s, you can even get some military jets. So what I want to download today is a scenery. So I'm going to go over here, we'll go to regional airports, and we'll just go to uh, most downloaded. And we're going to find one here that we want to download. So uh, let's go over to St. Barthelemy. I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to get the new page come up. Uh, here you'll get some screenshots of the actual uh, scenery. And the same goes with any aircraft or add-ons. You're going to get some screenshots of what it actually looks like. That seems to be quite a few on this scenery. So they're obviously showcasing quite a bit. You also see uh, the user that created it. And anything they want to put in a kind of description uh, format. We also see down here that it's compatible with some update 11. And you can see the initial release and how long ago it was last updated. Uh, that may be useful if you if you think it doesn't quite look good enough yet. And you think they need to update it a bit more. If it was quite a while ago it was last updated, then they probably won't update it again. So maybe that might not be the best scenery to download. So to download this, there's two options. You can come back up to the top or you can go down to the uh, lowest part of the description. And just click download there. And then there's going to be sometimes some different files. Um, but normally just do the main file or the newest file unless you have a reason not to do that normally do that it's going to be a little countdown here and then once the countdown finishes we're going to get a start download button we can click start download once it's downloaded you want to go and locate it in your downloads folder okay so once you have it in your downloads folder you've located it there you're going to see it's a zip file sometimes it will be a .rar file in which case you need to download something like 7-zip and you can then uh, change the .rar file to a .zip file but most of the time it's going to be .zip so that's what we're going to demonstrate today so normally what we're going to do is then copy this right, we can do that with Control and C or another option is you can cut it so you can use that by doing Control x and you'll see it kind of goes grayed out there and we're going to go put that into our uh, flight sim community folder if you go ahead and locate that I've got it set up here this is our Microsoft flight sim folder 
then we're going to go to the community folder and here you're going to see every uh, add-on you're ever going to download will be in here so basically you want to press ctrl v or right click and then uh, paste if it comes up there and then we want to unzip it so we're going to right click on it and then go to extract all and it will say where we want to do it and just click extract normally that'll be the right location anyway but just check before you do it and then once that's um, been unzipped we can delete the zip file and then we need to locate that uh, in here so here is the uh, extracted file i'm going to go in there and basically find the uh, highest file before you start getting like the layout and manifest uh, things come up so that's going to be this one here so we're going to go ahead and cut that come back and then paste it in there and then once that's done we can delete the old file because that's now going to have nothing in it so delete that and then we're left with this file here which is the one that has all of the scenery in it uh, you can go in here if you really want to and it's going to show you all the different things and yeah, there's the scenery. So now let's go ahead and load up the sim and we can check out the scenery. There you go, now you'll see the new scenery for the static aircraft and the tree fix and everything else that comes with the scenery. Same goes with all aircraft and other add-ons. Uh, you just have to restart the sim. For some reason you can't do it while you're in the sim. Um, that's something that's quite annoying. So if you're already flying in the sim, then you do need to come out of the sim to install the add-on to then go back into the sim to actually uh, use it. But no, I suppose that's just... Uh, we have a flaw in the sim, uh, not actually the add-ons, and you can actually see the uh, static aircraft here with the pilot standing next to it. And there's obviously some more static aircraft over here, and you'll see up there that there's uh, less trees than normal, uh, just to keep the approach nice and clear, as it would be uh, in the real uh, world. That's what it would normally look like. Let's go ahead and get all the lights on, and we'll do a quick departure out of here. I just see some people down there on jet skis as well. It's just kind of an all-around uh, good scenery. They added a, a lot of things. Um, you can download different versions as well, as you saw. That add different things, and uh, you can get uh, versions without certain things if you don't want the tree fix or don't want the static aircraft. You can download all of them versions as well. I'll leave a link to this add-on in the description as well if you wish to download it. But for now, that's it. I hope you found the video helpful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to do what the plane says and subscribe. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video next.